Hey everybody, Gus G here, and today I'm gonna be uh, talking about this guitar right here, which is my uh, signature model from ESP. Uh, most people have seen me with those pointy guitars, the random stars. This one is an Eclipse, more or less Paul shaped guitar. Um, I call it the rock art guitar, and the reason for that is uh, yeah, it's obviously the, the graphic which was created by uh, a good friend of mine in Sweden, Mr. Patrick Oleos, who is also a famous director. But uh, he and another guy called Bjorn Johansson, he, they got into uh, making art and they created this painting. And when I saw that, I said uh, to Patrick, dude, how about putting that on a guitar? So um, he loved the idea. He sent me back some mock ups of uh, variations of their paintings. And as you can see, it's like all over the body and the neck. And uh, yeah, ESB made it happen. Now the reason why uh, I switched from, um, well I didn't switch, but I had the random stars, but uh, I wanted to create an Eclipse guitar or a Les Paul type of guitar. The reason why we did that was actually when I joined Ozzy's band, um, Ozzy said to me, do you like Les Pauls? Do you play any of those? And um, I said, actually, no, I don't. I always had all these weird shaped guitars. and. Uh, that gave me an idea. I mean, I, I, I started considering this idea since, uh, you know, if you think back on Ozzy's history as a solo artist and the guitar players that have uh, been in that band, uh, they all had uh, a Les Most of them, I mean, Randy played a Les Paul. Zach had his bullseye a Les Paul. Um, so I thought it would be cool to come up with uh, a Les Paul shaped guitar as well, but I didn't want, obviously, to do. Uh, you know, the usual type of uh, sunburst color or whatever. And um, it just right so happened that Patrick had uh, that painting and we were able to dress the guitar with that graphic. Um, that is the story about the creation, behind the creation of this guitar. Now, when it comes to the specs, the neck actually, is, uh, we kept it pretty much the same as uh, my Random Stars, which is a 25 and a half uh, scale length neck. Rosewood uh, fingerboard, 22 frets, the flame inlays, um, Seymour Duncan blackouts, pickups, excellent pickups, they're active, uh, stop tail bridge as all my guitars, three way toggle switch, one volume, one volume knob here, I could never really uh, deal with all the, the tone knobs. Uh, even though I grew up on a Strat, but I never really used them, so I decided to just keep it simple, just one, one volume knob. And uh, I have this little kill switch here, so you can do effect on and off. Um, and yeah, that's it. You know, it's available obviously as a custom shop. Probably this one is made in Japan. It's a custom shop made in Japan. But uh, there's also an LTD available, 600 LTD. Uh, oh, with a more affordable price, obviously, which uh, still plays great. I have a bunch of those, and they're great. And uh, the reason, actually, I created that guitar was because I wanted... Uh, this guitar actually has a, a darker and a bit heavier sound compared to my Random Stars. Uh, you would usually bring it out when we played the Sabbath songs on uh, during Ozzy's set. Uh, and originally, I must admit that it was a bit hard for me to switch uh, from the Random Star to this guitar because of the whole, just, you know, the, the way I put my, my right hand on the body. It, it, was, it just felt weird to me, but I got used to it. And now I really love this guitar. I've been bringing it out on, on uh, Firewind tours. And obviously, I've been playing it for my uh, solo stuff as well. I recorded a lot, a lot of the uh, parts, a lot of the rhythm parts, and uh, a lot of the leads with this guitar on my uh, solo album.